Hey everybody, this is Caleb. Um, I'm the head of uh, promotionfilms.webs.com and I'm here with a tutorial for you guys. Um, I'm going to start out kind of funny. I got a joke because I'm uh, posting this as a response to Alex Allgood's um, contest and he said to be funny, so I'm going to attempt to be funny. Um, he's, he mentioned he's 18 and going to college and I am as well 18 and going to college. Not Full Sail University, but I'm going to go to college. So I figured I'll tell a joke relating to college. So this is, I heard about this guy, and uh, he went to this college and he needed electives to pass, and he didn't know what class to take. So he was visiting all these different classes, and he got to this deductive reasoning class. And uh, he's like, I'm going to go talk to the professor and see what uh, this class is all about. And uh, so he goes and talk to the, talks to the professor, and uh, he asks the professor, what's this class all about? I mean, what, what do we do in this class? And the professor's like, well, let me give you an example of what deductive reasoning is. Um, he asks the guy a question. He says, do you own a lawnmower? And the guy's like, yes, I do. Um, well, from that, I can deduct that you have a yard. Yes, I have a yard. So from that, you have a house? Yes. All right, you live in the house, and you probably have a family that lives in the house. Yes. All right. So from that, I can deduct that you have a wife. Yeah. So from that, I can deduct that you're a heterosexual. You're straight. And he says, yes. Okay. So from all, from just asking you if you had a lawnmower, I found out all this information about you. And he's like, okay, that's pretty cool. So he leaves and uh, he sees his buddy out in the parking lot. And, uh, his buddy asks him, hey, did you talk to that professor about the deductive reasoning class? And he's like, oh, yeah, I did. And uh, so, so what's it all about? And he goes, well, let me give you the example he gave me. He's like, okay. Um, do you want a lawnmower? No. Pervert. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that was funny because I, I thought it was pretty funny. But, um, yeah, as I said earlier, this is a video response of Alex Allgood's contest. And I'm going to try to be creative original, and informative. So those are the three categories I'm going to try to fill. And um, trying to think of some way to be creative um, and original. And I was thinking maybe I could play my voice backwards. Nears and the buttons in the spice, he's popping right down at the her old from that never vents that's a good bunch of there was that me. No be from that net. Moving on, um this tutorial is gonna be about basic intro creation and kind of what you need to make a good intro. And I'm gonna go over maybe some effects and uh just kind of basic stuff, three things that I think you need to have an effective tutorial or intro for your videos. Um, first of all, obviously, you're going to need text. Um, so I'm going to insert a video track. You guys are familiar with the insert text media. Um, you're going to want to keep your intro short. Maybe 10 to 15 seconds is a good intro. I'm not sure why my computer's running slow. But um, 10 to 15 seconds is a good intro length. Um, any longer than that, and it kind of loses people's interest and they just want to fast forward to get to the tutorial so I'd keep it pretty short um, for text maybe just three or four different text uh, different texts I guess um, for like uh, my company presents a video tutorial on this or my company presents whatever but just keep it short 10 15 second range is pretty good um, as long as text goes, specifically, I like to keep my text simple, so uh, nothing with all these fancy doohickey majigs coming off the side and whatever. So, um, yeah, for that, and then um, for text effects, as you might have noticed if you've been to my website, which is www.promotionfilms.webs.com, visit that if you haven't. I have a bunch of templates there that you can uh, view and uh, they're pretty cool, I hope. So, um, and you might have noticed in most of my intros, I have a cool chrome kind of looking text in most of them, or I think two of them have chrome. And 
to do this, you go to Video Effects and then Bump Map. You can use Default One and edit that. But this basically um, gives you a cool spotlight chrome effect looking thing. And uh, that's really cool in my opinion. So you can mess around with the sliders and everything and brightness and whatever. That's something cool. Um, for most intros, you don't just want text on a black screen. You want something behind it. Um, I use video loops a lot or just a single picture, but I prefer video loops just because it's moving and it looks better. So I get all my video loops from movietools.info. Put a little plug in for them. Um, so I'm going to drag one of those loops in, and uh, that's what I got. So as if we play through this, you'll notice that there's just it's just moving in the background and because my computer is really slow for some reason but you can see that um, also going back to text you're gonna want to have your text moving because most people even though they don't think they do have ADHD and like it when things move so yeah I like my text moving I normally have it zoom in really fast depending on what style of intro I'm using I normally have it zoom in really fast and then kind of zoom out or slow down and then zoom out. So um, you can do this by keyframe stuff. I'm not going to go into that actually. So, um, also for your intros, you want catchy music. I know with some intros, there's intros out there that are super slow and just drag on and on, and they have stupid music, and I just don't like that. That might be my opinion, but I think it's most people's opinion. So, um, you want catchy music. I get my music. I have um, Immediate Music is a good uh, source. Um, there's also Andrew Kramer's Designer Sound Effects that has some cool scores. And for the free stuff, you go to a website called freeplaymusic.com. They have um, a big selection of music from Beethoven music all the way to like epic scores of awesome music. So make sure you check out that. <coughs> um, and a lot of times in your intros, you can change your compositing mode to 3D Source Alpha. And then you go into Track Motion, and you can do some really cool stuff in this. I'm going to have a tutori tutorial out later on uh, 3D compositing, and uh, hopefully that will be informative. But you can rotate it uh, front to back. You can rotate it uh, front to back again. You can rotate it left to right. You can spin it. You can move it. You can make it bigger. Whatever you want to do, and it's a very handy tool. So, and you can keyframe all that as well. So, well, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, just the three main things is you want to keep it short and simple, 10 to 15 seconds. Make sure there's things moving in the back and in the text is moving and then make sure you have some good music so those are my three tips for the day or for the tutorial or whatever so uh... well alex i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope it was creative enough um, i would say that you're my number one fan but like i bet you that's what everybody's doing they're just sucking up to you so i'm not gonna suck up to you but um... yeah <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and be sure to check out my website um, it's www.promotionfilms.webs.com There you can download a bunch of my templates. All my YouTube tutorials are up there, and I have links to different sites. And uh, you might notice, um, Alex, your site is on it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.